Hello everyone, I'm in Larnica and what you see behind me is this wonderful little church and it's called Lazarus Church. But I got here too late. I got in the bus but I had to go do some shopping around so I got here about 10 and it's about 12, 15, 12, 30. Evidently they close for lunch and they have a siesta time and they'll be open at 3 again. But I can get a postcard, nothing better than a postcard when you don't get a camera. Um, they say inside is where Lazarus' tomb is that Jesus had raised from the dead. So he died once and Jesus was around with that resurrection power and then he went another time. We all got to go. And so that's what's happened with Lazarus. This is where he said bye-bye. I don't know if he died from persecution, you know, the uh, Christians in those days getting um, crucified or if he died another way, but all that is in Greek. The interesting part that I was talking to somebody about is they said that Lazarus inside here, you can still see from inside the tomb a part of his skull. So whether it's true or not, I don't know. Whether this is actually Lazarus' tomb or not, only God knows. But it's all interesting. They have different things, like in Italy, they talked about where uh, Paul had been beheaded, and they said that the reason why it had the three fountains, because it was called Tre Fontaine, was because Paul had been, um, when he uh, had his head cut off, that it bounced three times, and every place where it bounced, up came water, and they put a church over the three different locations. So, who knows? Only Jesus knows it all. When we get to heaven, we'll be able to know all the truth. But this building is old and it's interesting. And uh, the folklores that go with it, Jesus will tell about whether it's true or not. It's about as good as it can get. So I'm going to go for now, look at that archway, and say, God bless you, church.